to Laurie's Tiny Studio. I'm Laurie and today I have this in front of me. I painted this if you watched the last video where I did the little pumpkin project. I painted this also in that video. It was the last video that I uploaded and I've decided that it needs another coat like right here and there's a few up that way. What I need to do is repaint it, so I just purchased that same paint that I used the first time, which is the Folk Art, get it to focus, Folk Art Home Decor Chalk in French Linen, and the number is 5945 if you're interested. The link uh, for this, I purchased it on Amazon, will be in the description box below this video. I also bought this brush because it was recommended as the best for chalk paint. And to be honest, I really don't like the little sponges that I got. They're great, but they're not really what I'm interested in using. And then I decided to try some Mod Podge. I probably should have gotten the type that you brush on, but this was on sale also on Amazon. And I decided I'm just going to go ahead and give it a go. So we'll see what happens. I don't know. I've not used Mod Podge on furniture before. But considering that I just want this to be glossy, it's been kind of difficult running my mouse. And I just feel like it's kind of grabbing my hands. And to be honest, I'm not really willing to put a whole lot of waxing effort into this really basically temporary top platform whatever we want to call that okay so that is my next plan of action is to just repaint this I'll show a little bit of it using this Bates brush let's go ahead and open it it's called Bates Choice Pro trim brush and I was reading about what to use for chalk paint and what to use for chalk paint if you're not planning on doing a whole lot of it. And so this was the one. And I can't remember the price, but I remember thinking, oh, well that's like really kind of inexpensive. Again, it'll be linked down below in the description box. Okay, it has a rather stiff feel to it. It's quite nice, actually. The handle has kind of a rubbery feel to it. The bezel is tight around these bristles and tight on the handle, and I don't see a seam at all on the bezel, so that means it was forced on there, which might be better. And these feel like a plastic, you know, acrylic or something. They're all fairly even at the pointed tip, so that's what that's like. So these all feel even and look even at the point on this rounded brush. And again, I'm having lighting issues. Try it like that. Okay. Alright, so I'm just going to try a little bit. I had already taken all this out of the packaging this morning. Um, otherwise, I would have opened it on camera for you guys. I know some of you like that. Uh, I'm having the hardest time. I'm just going to do this little section right here on camera. There's only so many times that you need to see me painting. And I kind of liked the method I used before, which was just put some paint down.
I do prefer this paintbrush. I just realized my fan is on. Once again, I'm gonna go turn that off. Hope the sound isn't horrible. while I'm waiting for this to dry, and I did do a third coat, by the way, I thought I'd mention that when I clean out my paintbrushes, I use the Speedball brand pink soap. Non-sponsored, no affiliation. It's just what I prefer, and it's what I used on this. And it cleaned up quite nicely. I don't see any evidence of any paint. So, I'm happy with that. And I'll be back, this is still wet, I'll be back to coat it with that Mod Podge in just a minute. Okay guys, we're gonna give it a go. I have to be careful about getting fumes everywhere. I wanna give it a try, and see what happens. Oh, I'm gonna try it out first in the cap. pretty quick spray. All right, I'm gonna air out the room. Well, it dried very nicely. I'm quite pleased with it. I don't know how long it's gonna last, but for now, this surface is perfect. So today, I'm going to start on the embroidery project that I showed you in the video before this one. I'll try to remember to link it below in this, this video. But this is the embroidery fabric, and this is the embroidery pattern. And all you see here, except for the scissors, came, which you don't see, but I'll fix it so you can. These did not come with this kit. No scissors came with this kit, but this, two needles, the floss, the glue, the compact, the instructions, the little hoop, and this printed fabric were all part of the kit. So now I'm going to go ahead and put my fabric in the hoop. I'm trying to get it even all the way around. And I kind of want that nice and snug. Alright. So I have it set so that my fabric is presented on top. I know that or my pattern is presented on top. I know some embroidery people like to do it so that the printed part is in the recessed area and don't be tempted to cut any of this at all just let that kind of hang out because you might need it put this up here out of the way for now
I'm going to use an alcohol wipe that I use to wipe my glasses with. One of these. I just keep them in my purse. It's just got a little bit of alcohol, which will remove fingerprints or fat, uh, you know, oil or lotion that I might have had on my hand. And it doesn't take all day to dry. So I have wiped off all my fingerprints. Oop. Just from the surface where I'll be applying the glue. It's already dry. Alright, so the best way to glue anything is to apply a thin layer of glue to one side and kind of get it around the edges. It will sort of smoosh to the edges when you press down. I'm going to spread that out and then do the other piece. So I'll be putting glue on this piece as well. And then we want the glue to sit for approximately 60 seconds. sure I have a reason to hold on to any of this glue, but there's quite a lot of it. Alright, and that's been around 60 seconds, so I'm going to flip it over. This is the top of the compact, so I need to decide where I, what I want at the top, what part of my design. I kind of feel like I want it, this little pink French knot right here. Okay, we're going to set that right in there. And then I am going to, it doesn't say this, but I am going to put um, a heavy object on top and let it sit overnight. So for those of you who like to see someone peel that plastic off, here you go. There it is. Okay. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I have some other plans coming up soon for more gift giving ideas. I will see you in the next video. Bye.